This really is about building your legacy. About building your legacy. You know, one of, one of my whys is I do not want to enter retirement and be reliant on anybody else financially. I think many of us have seen many people that get to the end, and sometimes it happens whether you want to or not before you want it to happen. You think, I'm going to retire at 65 or 70. Well, you may have an illness that happens before that, and you may, it may end quicker for you. That's just reality for me, too. I, uh, <laughs> lost my dad a year and a half ago, and it didn't get, didn't get bad at the end, but it was starting down the bad path. He had Alzheimer's, and it was starting to get bad. And, uh, you know, to watch, to watch him have to lose some of his faculties and that kind of stuff, we were able to still keep him home with my mom. My mom was a nurse, my mom, so that was helpful. But we've, my brothers and I, we told my mom, we said, we're not nurses, mom. We don't, we don't know what we would have done without you. We don't have that option. Mom, my mom, they don't have any money. But I looked at my own family and said, I don't want to get to the end and have to rely on my kids financially. I want them to be there and support me and love me, but I want to know that I have money that comes in month after month from something that I built for a small period of time in my life. I worked hard and I made it happen so that I can go out of here on my terms. If I lose my mind, if I, whatever, who knows? If someone has to come clean me up and wipe me up and all that stuff, I want to do it while I'm staring at the ocean in my beach house on my terms, not your terms. I want someone to come to me. You know what it costs to have someone be with you 24 hours a day if you have to have that? They don't give it away. It's a lot of money. You need six figures a year coming in just to do that. Or you can be in a home with a bunch of other people. You get to choose how you want to go out. All the stuff that we're talking about, guys, is really about choice in life. And whether you make a choice or don't make a choice, you've made a choice. You make a choice to go forward and invest in yourself, work hard. If you get accepted and you go forward with us and you do your plan, that's a great choice. If you choose not to, you choose to do nothing, it's still a choice. And every choice has a result. Every choice has a, has a consequence, good or bad. For me, I work hard so that I don't have to worry about that stuff. I don't want my kids to have to worry about it. I hope I live till I'm 100. And I hope that I'm sane and I hope I, you know, croak when I'm skydiving out over my beach house. I don't know. I hope it's something fun. But I don't know. Well, none of us can plan that. I learned that from watching my son go through that. None of us can plan how we're going to go out. No, no, we don't know. But financially speaking, I want my family to be set forever. I want them to be set forever. I don't want them to have to worry about money. I want them to be able to enjoy their life and not have to worry. We spend so much time worrying about money. We think about it. We, we obsess over it. We spend so much time and it's ridiculous. If we can just get income that comes and we can do what we want to do and stop freaking worrying about money. Wouldn't it be nice to stop worrying about money? That's what passive income does for you. You stop worrying about it and you go enjoy your life. People say, oh, that guy's rich. He looks so happy. What a jerk. Well, he worked his ass off. He got there and now he enjoys it. He put the time and he did what other people choose not to do. He went and worked hard or she went and worked hard. And now they look a little more relaxed because they're not so worried about when their bills are going to be met or will they retire in style. What happens to your empire when you leave this earth? The empire that you build, however big or small you choose, what happens to that rental income empire? Question, do rents stop? When you croak and it's over, you take that final nap, do the tenants even know that you're gone? If you build this right, they won't know who you are. And they're still going to pay their rent because they have to. It's rent. You have a management company taking care of that for you. Do the assets disappear? When you go, do they disappear? No. Working with us and with NCH, you can structure it so you don't get nailed in taxes when you die. You can position yourself to make that transition smooth and not crush your family at the end. But you've got to know the right people. You've got to know the right people to hang around and know what to do. Follow our plan. You can build this multi-million dollar empire without using a dime of your own money.